All right, so uh, we're going to start uh, with the introductions now. The way that this is going to work is I'm, I'm going to page through the slides up here, and you're going to turn on your seat mic. When you see your name, you're going to turn on your seat mic, and you're going to talk into it. And if you uh, go over one minute, I will start. I, I'm looking at the clock up here, and I'll start making horrible sounds. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. So when, also, please raise your hand um, uh, so that people can can connect the, the face to the name and that kind of stuff. It's a great suggestion. Um, all right, uh, any questions before we start? All right, Rodrigo. Okay, um, before I start, 10 seconds to just um, mention that I've gone through and everyone who gave me their GitHub username, I've added you to the mailing, mailing list. And if you're in that camp, your logo up there is green. So the, up there top right is my GitHub username and it's green, it means you've already been put onto the mailing list. So if you haven't done it yet, please add your GitHub username there and I will, I will incorporate you into the discussions page. Okay, uh, I'm Rodrigo Luger, I'm a postdoc here at the CCA. I work mostly with um, characterizing transiting planets and thinking about um, exoplanet mapping. Um, but here my goal is to learn more about microlensing. I have very little experience in the field um, I'm interested in the things Dan talked about concerning derivatives and machine learning and applying that to microlensing. And in terms of things I can contribute, uh, in addition to moral support, uh, all sorts of coding stuff, Python, C++, TensorFlow, and some machine learning stuff. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Rachel Street. For those of you who don't know me, staff scientist at Las Cumbres Observatory. Um, I've been studying microlensing primarily from an observer's point of view for about 10 years. Um, I also work on a, a range of other stuff and I'm moving more into modeling and machine learning these days. So I'd like to work more on the, the actual modeling and also the event characterization using machine learning techniques. But I have experience with PyLEMA and software development in general and also <laughs> photometry data assessment. Happy to help with anybody if they have any queries. Okay, uh, I'm Sam Akmurs, uh, still a graduate student at uh, Warsaw University uh, Observatory. I'm working uh, in the Yogo team. Uh, I was working most on many aspects of microlensing, like uh, modeling of binary events, uh, some extremely difficult events like uh, GRE events. Uh, I was also doing some work on uh, searching for microlensing events. Uh, distinguishing microlensing events from uh, other sources, so uh, I can help with that uh, also. Okay, thanks. Uh, so I'm postdoc at Ohio State University. Uh, I'm working on K2 campaign nine, so if you want to work on that, we can do it during this meeting. Uh, I'm also involved in uh, WFIRST preparations and I'm a member of the Ogle team. Uh, I have some experience with uh, different uh, routines for fitting microlensing events, so, uh, and different codes, uh, different uh, languages like Python, C, or Fortran. Uh, but wh what I would like to know more is uh, vetting of the data, Bayesian model selections, things like that, uh, and more MCMC samplers. And if you want to know more about MC uh, Mullen's model, just ask me. I'm David Bennett. I'm an old man of microlensing. I've been working on microlensing for about 30 years and working on space-based microlensing for almost 20 years. Uh, I've done a lot of work with uh, microlens modeling, particularly um, you know, triple lens events. I'm interested in statistical analysis. Uh, extracting planetary parameters from microlensing events, um, proper weighting of Bayesian models. I, I told you sort of the stuff I was hoping to work on in my talk. Um, so, and I can also um, entertain the young ones with stories of old and days of microlensing. Alan, uh, I'm a PhD student in Catholic University in DC. So I'm very new in the field. The first time I worked it was during the data challenge. I worked in the Milan team. And I would like to learn, well, I'm open to learn everything if I'm here. 
and I can help with new lamp construction. I'm Bartolich, I'm a second year PhD student at St. Andrews in Scotland. I'm interested in Bayesian modeling of uh, microlensing events, and for this hack session, I'd like to work on uh, hierarchical models in particular. I have some code which is like close to uh, being functional in that sense. And I can help out with um, PyMC3, so Hamiltonian Monte Carlo, if anyone's interested, some GPs and model comparison. Hi, I'm Matthew Penny. I'm a postdoc at Ohio State. Uh, I've got extensive experience simulating uh, microlensing. Um, I, in my early career, I did some automated fitting of binary microlensing event with various levels of success. Um, I think about survey design a lot and pipeline development as well. Um, I'm interested in uh, helping others mostly while I'm here, but uh, if that doesn't occupy all of my time, I, I'm thinking of working on some K2 stuff. Um, yeah, and I can, I, I can probably help with anything. Um, hi, I'm Esther, and um, I'm a graduate student in physics at the University of Heidelberg in Germany. And yeah, I'm very new to the field, so I don't have a lot of experience, but I participated in the data challenge um, with the team Mulan. And if you have questions about how to use Mulan, I, I'd be glad to help you. And I'm basically yeah, interested in learning everything there is to know about microlensing, especially in data modeling. Waiting the green light, okay. Uh, I, so I'm Etienne Bashley. Uh, I'm postdoc at Las Cumbres Observatory. I mainly work on microlensing since eight years now. I'm interested to work on bizarre microlensing events and data statistics and all of that things. Here I would like to work on, to learn about how to properly write the degenerate solution, also improve on microlensing tools and machine learning exploration. And I can help with PyDema and some alternative approach for modeling. Hi, Kaylin Henderson. Good to finally join everybody today. I'm a research scientist at, at Caltech at IPAC, um, and I've been involved in a, a variety of space and ground-based campaigns uh, in a number of ways. Uh, I don't know who wrote. Yeah, I'm not sick anymore. It's fine. I'm not contagious. Probably Yossi, thank you. Uh, I'd like to work on a, a couple of things. I'm really excited about derivatives now. I didn't know about them. Now I'm super excited. Uh, that sounds great. Uh, and I can help others with thinking about public data, uh, using any of the holdings at the Exoplanet Archive, uh, general microlensing questions. I didn't write it, but moral support as well. Uh, thanks. Use your seat mic, please. And I'm interested in statistical studies using microlens in tiny samples. And so, and I'd like to learn triple lens modeling and Asian analysis. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can help the modeling and general question on microlensing. Hi, I'm here, my colleague Bossa from Salerno University. I've been working on microlensing since uh, uh, 2000, basically. I also done many other things uh, in the middle, but mostly uh, uh, my main contributions have been the development of the binary lensing and uh, uh, the RT model that I presented today in practice. And uh, I would like to take the opportunity in this hack session to learn more about machine learning, which uh, it uh, seems a very promising for the for application to microlensing. And then uh, uh, I, would, uh, I can help with VB binary lensing, of course, and I would like also to discuss 
uh, methods for the automatic searches in, in a higher dimensional space, including higher orders and multiple lenses. So, so basically, that's all. Hi, I'm Peter McGill. I'm a second year student at the University of Cambridge. So I've mainly worked on uh, astrometric microlensing with Gaia, so predicting future events using Gaia's astrometric solution. Um, so I'm interested in uh, machine learning applied to microlensing and generally what Gaia can do. So the Gaia data is amazing and I'm incredibly excited about it and I think everybody else should be. Um, so I can, I can, if you have any questions about Gaia, specifically Gaia Data Release 2, I know a lot about the data and how it can help with microlensing. Um, generally, some things that I want to work on is, is early characterization of events and, and proper sampling with Hamiltonian Monte Carlo. I'm uh, Jan Skovron. I'm a postdoc at uh, Warsaw University Observatory and a member of Ogle Project. I'm in microlensing for a long time, so I can help with understanding data, service, <coughs> systematic errors, uh, parameterizations, interpretation of events all this different stuff. And of course, I'm interested in unsolved problems, which are big, uh, like uh, triple lenses, uh, uh, different approaches to difficult optimizations, weighting of different models. So really would like to have discussions about this. Thanks. Oh, that's me. Uh, I work here. Um, I. Uh, care about open source, and um, I, I don't think I've put it on here, but um, I'd, I'd be happy to help with uh, sort of talking about packaging for open source uh, codes and things like that. Uh, that's sort of uh, one of my favorite things to talk about. Um, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier today, derivatives. Um, in particular, I'd love to uh, talk to folks about how the exoplanet package that I just released uh, might be uh, useful with um, uh, with microlensing uh, problems. Um, it has all sorts of sweet derivatives and Gaussian processes and stuff like that. Um, hi, uh, I'm Katarzyna Kruszyńska. I'm a PhD student at uh, Warsaw University Observatory. Uh, mostly I'm working on microlensing in Gaia and how to look for it um, in order to find black holes, whatever. Um, I have uh, some experience in microlensing, but uh, if someone wants to learn how to find Gaia data, how to use it, uh, just ask me. I, 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 I do my best to help you. Uh, but what I want to learn here is mostly modeling binary events because I have never done that. Uh, and I want to understand how to better model my microlensing events, how to use my, uh, MCMC for that, um, if MCMC is fine for that or not. Uh, and how to, and also how to improve searching for uh, microlensing events in large, large, large search surveys. Um, yeah. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm a PhD student at McGill University. Um, I mostly work on trying to study the atmosphere of transiting exoplanets. Um, and so, basically, I look at observation and try to infer something about their atmosphere or atmospheric dynamics. Uh, I'm interested in trying to see all the advances that the transiting exoplanet community have come in understanding red noise, systematics, and instrumental noise and applying it to microlensing. Um, I'm also here to learn anything about machine learning, uh, modeling of microlensing, uh, events, so I have a very shallow understanding, but I'd like to get a deeper understanding. I'm also a big fan of outreach, um, and so I saw that there was a project on citizen science, which I'm excited about. Uh, I can help with questions about Spitzer, Iraq. I've used Pylema, Mulan just now, uh, and I have some understanding of Bayesian statistics. So actually, uh, <laughs> Geoffrey is like has left, and now it's Clément Rank. <laughs> <laughs> the shutdown is finished. So I'm Clément Rank. Uh, I'm postdoc at NASA Goddard. Uh, I mostly work on microlensing modeling. 
and uh, I'm very interested actually in like planet and wide orbits and brown dwarf orbiting stars, uh, low mass stars especially. Uh, I really would like to learn more about uh, and to test uh, method, MCMC method to um, uh, sample multimodal distributions in high dimension. I would like to learn a little bit about my machine learning uh, and uh, triple lens. So I think it's a program for several hack week. <laughs> and I can help a lot with uh, Mulan and any aspects related to microlensing and yeah, modeling. Uh, second year PhD student at the Tsinghua University. I'm working on uh, several um, microlensing groups. I would like to learn something about my, uh, machine learning applied to microlensing modeling and uh, event finder. And I'm also interested in uh, Benson analysis with uh, blending uh, constraint. Uh, I can help with CVT high resolution images and uh, DIA uh, pipeline using ISIS and uh, search microlensing events using uh, Andy's uh, algorithm. Thank you. Hi, I'm Maria Valera Navarro. I'm from Chile. I'm studying uh, in Andres Bello in Chile as a Piensa in Rome. Uh, I'm a member of the BBB team and I have been uh, searching for microlensing events with the BBB. So I would like to learn how to, how to fit a more complex model because I'm using PFPL and uh, how to deal with the uh, low cadence. Hi, I'm Shufi. I'm a second year grad student at UC Berkeley, uh, working on simulating modeling my cleansing from first principles, the popsicle stuff I talked about yesterday. Um, I'm mostly interested in finding black holes. Uh, I can talk a lot about that, or um, astrometric microlensing. Um, like to learn or work on, I guess, a lot of stuff. So I only know like baby statistics from high school, so anything with like Bayesian methods, or um, I also don't really work with data, so like dip my toes in reality once in a while, uh, look at real data and how people model and fit like curves. Hi, uh, I'm Wei, uh, currently a postdoc at CETA in Toronto. I worked on uh, some uh, micro modeling and uh, uh, understanding the data, for example, modeling the uh, binary code and uh, parallax with K2 spacer together with ground and W first uh, as well, theoretically. And uh, I've also done some works on uh, uh, statistics, including microenzymes, transit, radio velocity, and combinations of those. And I'm most interested in learning the triple lens modeling from uh, various people and uh, understanding how uh, to get the uh, microenzyme multiplicity function and uh, what can we do with that? Hi, I'm Nathan Golovich. I'm a postdoc at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Uh, I work on a few different things, but for microlensing, I'm focused on black hole microlensing. Uh, but I also work on self interacting dark matter and merging galaxy clusters and uh, surveying for near Earth asteroids. So, but microlensing is kind of my main focus, so I'll talk about it here. Uh, Currently, I'm leading with Will a long time scale microlensing survey with DeckCam, and the data is all public. So, if anyone's interested in that, it's out there. Um, we're about 10 months into the survey, so there's not a lot of data, and it's long time scale. So, it's kind of uh, sparsely sampled, so not good for planets. But I just thought you guys should know that it's public and available. Um, I'm interested in implementing the GP stuff that people have talked about here for correlated noise. It's a big background for uh, parallax because the variable stars sometimes have similarly time-scaled uh, noise. And I'm also interested in event detection, and then uh, I can help others with various Bayesian analysis and other things like that. So thank you. I'm Yossi. Uh, I'm a research staff at IPAC. Uh, I lead the Eucrit and Spitzer microlensing uh, surveys, and I'm also a member of KMTNet. I have some experience uh, with microlensing, both in observation, analyzing, and statistical conclusions. Uh, my main thing that I want to learn is new approaches of uh, study um, to have robust systematic exploration of binary lenses. Uh, I'm not a senior and I'm not really young 
And I must say that I was very disappointed by the approach of the seniors to uh, dance talk of new ways to explore things. And I, I would be very happy if at the end of this hack session we can prove them wrong. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Yu Tong. I'm a PhD student at Harvard. Um, I've worked on uh, my cleansing modeling with satellite parallax, uh, Spitzer, and K2 campaign 9. Uh, and I've also some knowledge uh, about uh, stellar multiplicity statistic statistics in general. Um, I think I've uh, had a good overview of the things that under the I would like to learn um, column. And I think. Um, you should see the uh, the rightmost column as as part of the that I would like to learn column. Um, so I'm really interested in uh, using satellite parallax to constrain models of the galaxy. Um, I like to work a bit on K2 uh, photometry with various people here, um, and also interested in how uh, my cleansing can help us constrain stellar binarity statistics, um, be it binary lenses or binary sources. Uh, hi, my name is Samaya Khakbash, and I'm a mm, PhD student at Lehigh University. I'm interested in uh, microlensing, especially detection and light, light curve modeling. And I have uh, experience working with simulated planetary and microlensing light curves. Um, I would love to uh, learn more about modeling um, binary lens, microlensing light curves, and also learn uh, about machine learning. Um, and its uses in this field. And uh, I also wanted to learn more about the existing microlensing survey data that I have like already learned a lot. And um, I, would, uh, I have worked with uh, PyLima for modeling and simulating PSPL events. I can help with that. And um, also with um, simulated light curves if somebody needs it. I'm a PhD student from the University of Canterbury in New Zealand. Um, I mostly have worked on modeling in the past, be it transiting exoplanets or binary lenses. Uh, I'm interested in more modeling stuff because there's always more to know when it comes to that. But um, uh, I can probably help people out with a few things, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Savannah Jacklin. I'm a PhD student at Vanderbilt University and right now I'm primarily working on image level, point source, point lens, microlensing, event injection and recovery with UCIRT um, and basically deter trying to determine the uh, near infrared detection efficiency and event rate. Um, basically I want to learn all of the things and work on all the things whether that be mach learning machine learning techniques, how to properly fit a light curve, statistics done right, uh, you know, basically everything that's listed up there. Um, in particular, though, I'm interested in the UCIRT Zooniverse project and also the idea of creating new GIFs, GIFs, uh, or images for microlensing outreach in general. And what I can hopefully offer to you all is some help with Python, some really janky work with Source Extractor, and otherwise uh, some outreach ideas to help expand the field of microlensing, particularly from the ground up. Hi, I'm Josh. Tasmania, Australia. I work on adaptive optics follow up of microlensing events, mainly planetary events. And I also do some modeling as well, which I've done with PyLima. I've modeled um, finite source binary lens events with PyLima, so I can probably help with that. <coughs> and if you have any questions about Keck reduction and that kind of thing, probably other AO2, I can help with that. Uh, I'm mainly interested in figuring out contaminant analysis with Bayesian statistics uh, for AO events and also anything to do with photometry and PSF fitting, uh, I would really like to know more about that. And in general, I'm always keen to get better in modeling, um, and specifically in CNC. Hi, I'm Jennifer Yi. I'm from the Center for Astrophysics. I have a lot of expertise in microlensing. I'm uh, the leader of the Canteen Net and Spitzer microlensing projects. And I uh, help run a with the writing new lens model. Uh, I'm interested in methods for modeling systematics and also dealing with outliers in, in time series photometry, so in microlensing data, and also 
in assessing the performance of different um, likelihood space searchers like MC or multi-nest uh, for looking at like, a degenerate parameter space and seeing how fast they are, how well they work. Um, and so I can help others with MuLens model and just general knowledge of microlens and stuff. Hello, I'm Łukasz Brzykowski, a faculty at Warsaw University Astronomical Observatory. Uh, I, I work on uh, microlensing since 2000. And since 2008, I'm involved in Gaia. This is primarily my, my, uh, my main topic now. So I can help uh, with Gaia in general, Gaia DR2, Gaia astrometry, Gaia alerts in particular. Uh, what I would like to learn is uh, LSST, microlensing, high angular uh, imaging from the ground and space, uh, the old mu lens and all the other new codes. I've used some of PyLima, but uh, not, not the rest. And then uh, I would like to learn about VVV data and also other public large data sets in order to, tr to, well, to do microlensing uh, searches with machine learning and, and <coughs> other approaches. Thank you. Dominic from the University of St. Andrews in sunny Scotland. Uh, given that uh, I'm not such an old man, I only have uh, worked on gravitational microlensing for about 25 years. Uh, during that time, I probably gained uh, lots of expertise on getting things wrong. And I'm most curious to hear some thoughts, views, and ideas from younger people. The postdoc here at CCA. Uh, I'm not from astrophysics. I have PhD in machine learning, so I'm really new in the field, and especially in microlensing. So I like to learn a lot about microlensing, about the problems, and get a better idea of everything that's going on uh, for you guys, <laughs> and find fun and challenging machine learning problems, and maybe see if some of the models I've used and I've developed here could be useful for microlensing, and anomaly detection is kind of also my jam. And I can help other with representation learning and neural nets and some PyTorch coding, I guess. Use your seat mic, please. Um, and that's involved cadence optimization, simulations, developing metrics, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm keen to be and just improve my general skills with some of the publicly available codes. I'm also interested in uh, learning about detection pipelines, particularly with a view to the LSST um, alert stream forthcoming. Um, so if anyone's got any questions about the LST survey, simulation framework, et cetera, I can help with that. Um, I've also used um, random forest classifiers for the MOA database. I am Samson Johnson. I'm a graduate student at Ohio State. And I'm really, uh, I've been working on simulating WFIRST survey designs. I'm really interested in what we can learn about exoplanets from that. Um, I'm sort of really, I think I'm pretty flexible in with what I want to work on. Uh, for some reason, automated event detection is sort of uh, drawing me in, I think, the most. But uh, also, how to like uh, efficiently uh, pulling out uh, system parameters from microlens defense, I think, is also very interesting. And I, I, if you don't know how to use Python, I guess I can help you there. Or if you just want like general information on WPIRS, I think I can answer at least some questions. My name is Yana Kondo, and I'm a master's student at Osaka University. And I belong in, with a MOA team. And I'd like to learn about many things. Um, and I'd like to learn mainly how to wait the degenerate solutions in DGN analysis. But I want to learn many things. And I can help others with a uh, little thing. So uh, I'd like to ask you many things. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Fatma Abdurrahman. Uh, I'm a PhD student at Berkeley. Um, the two very different things I want to work on are how to constrain microlensing events 
uh, outside of the light curve modeling, so the kinds of things I was talking about yesterday and beyond, um, and also opposing that, uh, modeling higher order effects, particularly uh, non-static binaries, um, something I've been trying to work on unsuccessfully. Uh, because I also do research in AO, I can be helpful with anything AO related, observing PSF construction, whatever. I also do a lot of crowded field astrometry um, and understanding detection limits in, in image data. from University of Tokyo. I'm a graduate student and working on a project from Oyabura called Choosing Subaru Data. And I'm doing new in this field. And so I would like to hear more about microimaging doing a image curve or a static binary. Thank you. Hello, I'm Markus Sundetmark. I'm currently working as a postdoc at the University of Heidelberg at the Astronomisches Rechen Institute. I'm part of the Robonet team and also involved in the MindStep team, especially with a focus on data reduction. And um, since our group is also an API team of the LSST, I'm um, uh, also assigned uh, together with Janis Tsapras on that one. I can clearly help out with PyLima and how to um, get the most out of it. Um, also, um, I have um, I've some uh, expertise as far as difference imaging is concerned, but that might not be particularly useful over here. And I really look forward to learn more on extending my statistical toolbox um, optimization techniques um, and getting uh, likelihood in similar functions in a way integrated that we can understand what we are observing the very best way. Hi, I'm Yanis Tsapras, so I'm senior scientist at the Astronomics Research Institute at Heidelberg University. Um, I'm the PR of the Romeria project. Uh, I used to work at LCO for a long time, so if you have anything, uh, and before that for the Liverpool Telescope, so I've been working on microlens for about 20 years, so I belong to the same generation as uh, Valerio and Wukas, and I guess Martin and uh, Scott. <laughs> So I have a lot of experience with microlensing and a lot of experience with robotic astronomy. Um, so if you have any questions about robotic astronomy or microlensing, or, you know, if you have problem understanding microlensing, light curve morphologies, I'd be happy to talk about that. I've worked on many different things, including transits, radial velocity, variable stars, basically things that go bang in the night. And I'm also a member of the LSST uh, TVS, the microlensing subgroup. Um, what I like, what I don't really understand very well is machine learning methods. I mean, I, I have a general understanding of it, but there seem to be too many options and I really don't understand which one would be better for the kind of problems that we're dealing with microlens because there's a lot of discontinuous, um, discontinuities in microlens that you don't see in transits or radial velocities. So the microlens signals are, are a lot more difficult and I'm still trying to get my head around how to use machine learning uh, for that. So that basically covers the second part as well. So dealing with microlens in degeneracies and dealing with systematics in the data. Uh, I've done some work on estimating plant detection efficiencies using uh, OGLE data. Uh, and I have a lot of experience doing outreach. Uh, so if you want to talk to me about outreach as well, um, yeah, that, that, would be, that would be great. And I can help with Python. Thanks. Hello, I'm Naoto Toshimoto. I'm a postdoc at University of Tokyo, and I'm a member of MOA team. I'm working on uh, characterizing planetary events using high angular resolution event uh, images. So, and I would like to learn how to weight degenerate solutions in Bayesian analysis. And I'm interested in uh, host mass dependency of planet frequency. And I can help you with calculation of contamination probability pro probabilities in excess of blending flux. Maybe which is very niche. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm uh, I'm Chris Rybitsky. I'm from uh, I'm PhD student in Warsaw Astronomical Observatory, and I have some experience in microlensing. Uh, I'm a particular I'm a fan of astrometric part of it. 
Uh, I work with Gaia and, uh, well, I'm part of Science Alerts uh, team. So I also work on follow following up the microlensing events. Also in Ogle, I work on gathering the data for the, for the project. And um, as for helping you, if you have any questions about Gaia or astrometric microlensing, you can just hit me and I will, well, I will answer or not. Uh, I will answer if, you, if I know one. Uh, and with so many experts in the field, uh, it, it would be great to learn about uh, well, the most optimal and uh, proper way of using MCMC in context of, the, of fitting models to my microlensing events. Uh, using all the, all this this wonderful codes you guys uh, wrote and uh, yeah especially uh, I have an event with space parallax so I'd like to solve that today or tomorrow. Thank you. Hello, my name is Haruno Kuremas. I'm a master student at Osaka University. I'm working on classifying whether. The more DIA image in a star or not by using convolutional neural network. Um, it's like I would like to learn about how to improve accuracy of classifying. Um, I would like to know about Heidelberg light curve classifier and parallax simulation between prime and double parallax. I can help. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure, but I can help other with more DIA image and convolutional neural network. Thank you. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Yashar Hezave and uh, I'm a postdoc here upstairs and uh, I have no experience in micro lensing but I have a lot of experience in strong lensing, galaxy galaxy strong lensing and, and actually uh, my uh, focus in my research is detecting tiny over densities like from dark matter subhados on the extended images of background sources. So it could be thought, you know, about you know the planet going in front, but the difference is that there's like no time variation in, in, in these images. So you have that static, you know, image. And so a lot of that is like trying to detect these things by modeling, you know, these arcs. And we do a lot of that with interferometric data. And uh, so basically that's been what I've been doing for over 10 years now. Uh, what I'm very excited about learning here is, uh, is a little bit probably about variational inference uh, in Hamiltonian MC, and uh, and so uh, and in the past few years we've been doing a lot of machine learning. So we've written like a series of papers like using neural networks in different ways to to infer or to get the parameters of lenses in kind of like much faster ways. So if uh, anybody's kind of like you know, interested in working on that, I can contribute to that. Hi, I'm Michael Albrow from the University of Canterbury. I've, like some others, been in the microlensing game for about 20 years. Um, I write, I, I work on photometry and microlensing modeling. Um, it looks like part of my um, things I'd like to work on is being cut off, but I'm interested in all the things that other people have mentioned, but in addition there's some other things I've mentioned there, and the thing that's been cut off is um, is the contour integration method amenable to being recast as an algorithm for GPUs? It's one of my big interests. interests. So if anybody's interested in um, GPU coding in um, CUDA, for instance, I can help them with that. Hi, um, I'm Kailash Sahu. I'm a staff astronomer at uh, Space Telescope Science Institute. Um, um, I have been working on microlensing for a long time. Actually, I have, oh, I'm also a co-founder of the Planet uh, Collaboration, which uh, looked for planets uh, using the microlensing for the first time. Um, we worked, uh, I've worked on ma many different uh, microlensing projects using HST data. Uh, right now, one thing I'm trying to learn is the the astrometric effects on uh, binary lensings. That's, uh, that's not a part of this now, but many in future probably that should be one of the topics which should be covered, particularly after WFIRST, there would be lots of uh, astrometric effects uh, would be detected. So, And I would like to learn a bit more about Valeria, Valerio was uh, a binary lensing code. If anybody has questions about HST data analysis instruments, I can help. 
and I have been interested on in astrometric microlensing in general. Hi, I am uh, Sebastiano Garchinovati. I work uh, at uh, IPAC. Uh, currently, I'm involved uh, mainly with uh, WFAST uh, microSIT uh, for the simu uh, image simulation for the microlensing survey. I'm a member of the Spitzer team, uh, specifically for the uh, photometry, so I can, uh, I can help with that. What I, I'd like to learn out of that uh, is uh, especially the yeah, optimal way to explore the parameter space for a, a multi-lens model and uh, specifically with the uh, code, public code that we learn uh, about today. That appears to be the end. Did we miss anyone? No? You know, plug in information into this th system. My name is Han. I have been around this in this field for 25 years. I'm the third oldest person in this room after Kaila Chahu and David Bennett. <laughs> uh, I did, you know, start with, uh, you know, using uh, microlensing to search, you know, search for gal uh, galactic dark matter. And I moved to binary. I moved to what? So I started the uh, microlensing modeling for 15 years. I realized that it's time to leave microlensing modeling because so many people are doing it. You know, and, uh, you know as uh, Valerio Bocha said, just one button give you the answer, so what's the use for me? So it's time to leave. So I don't know, what can I help? You know, I know <laughs> nothing about, you know, I'm not familiar with the coding. The only coding I know is a portrait. What is a uh, Pisces? I do not know about that. So, <laughs> so that's it. Okay, thank you. All right, anyone else? Student at Tokyo University. Uh, I'm a member of uh, I'm a member of MOAT, and uh, I'm working on the light curve modeling. And uh, I'd like to run and working on the how to weight the degenerate solutions, and uh, interested in the triple modeling and fast modeling of binary lens events. Uh, so I think I can help others with uh, light curve modeling and about more data and general things about microlensing. All right, so um, a few last things uh, before we break. Um, so don't forget to add your GitHub username uh, uh, to your slide, um, and, and we'll keep an eye on that and make sure that everyone gets added to the organization. And that is somewhere in here. Um, if you go, you'll be part of the everyone team. And this gives us a discussion board where, where um, uh, you can uh, post uh, proposals for um, hacks to work on uh, or breakout sessions. For example, I think we're going to need a breakout on machine learning and neural networks. And you know, there, there were a few other common uh, themes that came up uh, through here. So keep an eye on this. Um, and we'll make sure that uh, uh, yeah, chat with me or, or Rodrigo um, uh, if, you, if you are having trouble getting access uh, to this uh, discussion board. And if you don't have a GitHub username, you should create an account. It's super easy and it's useful. It is now Microsoft's uh, GitHub, so I don't know how you feel about that. <laughs> well, um, and then, uh, yeah, so I think uh, we wanted to say something about the collaboration policy. Jennifer, do you want to okay. take over for that? So website is linked to the main conference website, which is hacks.microlensing.science. And just on the front page, there's some stuff, information about things. In particular, I wanted to remind people about guidelines for uh, collaboration um, at the Hack Week, which is that, you know, uh, I'll just read it. To ensure transparency and openness, we have adopted the collaboration policy developed for the Gaia Sprint. And so this Policy recommends that participants agree to the following. All participants will be expected to openly share their ideas, expertise, code, and interim results. Project development will pre proceed out in the open among participants and in the world. Participants will be encouraged to change gears, start new collaborations, and combine projects. Any participant who contributes significantly to a project can expect co-authorship on resulting scientific papers, and any participant who gets scientific contributions to a project is expected to include 
the, those contributors as co-authors. And these rules make it inadvisable to bring proprietary data sets or proprietary code unless the participant bringing such assets has the rights to open them or add collaborators. Which is something to keep in mind as you're thinking about your projects and what would be appropriate and what wouldn't be appropriate um, in this context. And in addition, I just want to remind people that we have a code of conduct which is summarized in the heading, be a nice person. And if you want the details that's in there, there are also contacts um, should you encounter problems that may be in, in <coughs> violation of those policies. Um, and just uh, below that are guidelines about how that, how, to, how that will be handled. So just wanna make sure everyone knows about that stuff. And go forth and hack. Today, so feel free to do some mingling, chatting, that kind of stuff, and then we'll be back here tomorrow morning. Great, thank you.